Next one we're going to look at is Battle Droid. And there's a very simple reason I picked this one. And it's because I was just taken by the animation and how it looks like stop motion animation. And then when you, when you hold in one hand, something that looks like stop motion animation and big giant robot battles, like, come on, those, those two together, just, I have to find out how this is as a mix. And there is a demo available for this. So let's have a look and a listen and we'll go from there. Free to play. Always good. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff going on. Holy crap. Oh, okay, you know what else it is? There's certain parts of this game that look like Dune 2. This one, yeah, there's a, there was a point in the trailer, I'm just gonna skip to it. It's, it's like around here where you start building your base. It just reminds me of Dune 2. And I was struggling to, because it wasn't just the stop motion animation. There's something else. I'm watching this. I'm thinking, what is this reminding me of? And Dune 2, if you've never heard of it before, not the movie, not the Denis uh, Villeneuve movie. I'm talking about the original, like the OG Mac Daddy RTS, originally released by Westwood Studios, before they got gobbled up by EA. Back when EA wasn't horrible. It was a long time ago. What can I say? But I, I'll be honest. I don't have, I don't think I have a lot of experience with auto battlers before. So maybe it's worthwhile to try the demo and, and see. But holy crap, that just, it looks incredibly busy. Let's read a little bit about it. Become the commander of a mighty army of fearsome battle droids and watch them fight in epic battles of mass destruction. Create your defenses and test their strength or send your forces to crush those of your friends and enemies online. And it is single player, also MMO, online PVP and cross-platform multiplayer. And like I said, there is a demo available so you can try it out. There is no release date at this time. Battle Droid is a multiplayer battle simulation game in the auto battle genre with elements of tower defense. Now, let me, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience. I don't think I've ever played an auto battler, but that doesn't mean I'm not open to it. Let me just look it up. What the hell is an auto battler? Auto battler, also known as auto chess, is a sub game of strategy video game that typically features chess like elements where players place characters on a grid-shaped battlefield during a preparation phase, who then fight the opposing team's characters without any further direct input from the player. Oh. So I have played games that have auto-battling as part of it, but I've never actually played one where it was the focus. I think, what game am I thinking of? Master of Orion 2. It was, um, I guess it classifies like a 4X game. But you basically command like just fleets of ships to fight other civilizations with their own fleets of ships. And you can do a, when you have like, because late game you have these gigantic fleets and each one has to take its turn and move on this grid. And you can do it all manually, but ain't nobody got time for that. So you can just click the auto button and just let everything do, and let it pick for you, uh, for itself. Like... Okay, I'm going to move to this square. I'm going to attack this opponent, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to use this. I'm going to be auto battler, basically. I don't know that I'm a terribly big fan of those. But again, I've only played a game where it was just a part of it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try the demo and see for myself. 
whether or not maybe this is something that I could grow to like, or maybe it's been a while since I've played an auto battler and maybe there's something there for me. Battle Droid is a multiplayer battle simulation game in the auto battle genre with elements of tower defense. Now, tower defense games I do kind of like. That's a really dull way of saying it's a game about blowing stuff up in epic battles and crushing your enemies with loads of droids and big guns. Construct bases, I, I had to emphasize that because they capitalized guns. Construct bases and defend them with masses of turrets, barricades, minefields, and deadly robot infantry. Or deploy your legions to annihilate your friends and then watch the ensuing carnage. Again, their emphasis, not mine. Pick your terrain and start crafting the most cunning base ever. An impregnable fortress bristling with turrets, scanners, and ammunition dumps. Reinforce with support buildings such as reactors, scanners, and shield generators. Surround it with barricades of concrete and steel. Misdirect your enemy with cloaking devices and decoys. Ooh, cool. And cunningly conceal mines to surprise attackers. Then watch in horror as your steam buddies spot your weak points and spectacularly waste it in a barrage of rocket and blaster fire. <laughs> I love that they build all that up and they're like, yeah, you're going to do all this stuff and you're going to think you're invincible. Then your buddy's going to come along. They're going to find your weak spot and I'm going to pummel the shit out of you. <laughs> it's very much aware of the type of game that it is, I guess. Exact revenge upon your enemies with total destruction of their bases. Select and deploy your infantry and artillery to the front lines, and on your command, your fearless forces will advance to obliterate all that stands before them. Really doing a good job of selling this game, though. Or have you misjudged the rate of fire of those heavy multi-blaster turrets? Watch helplessly as wave after wave of your valiant droids hurt themselves ineffectually. Oh, wait, sorry, hurl themselves ineffectually into the fray and to their fiery doom. Ah, well, there's always next time. Hmm. Upgrade your army. A daring raid on an overpowered enemy base that succeeds is worthy of the greatest rewards, and victorious commanders will be honored with medals, rising through the ranks to become Field Marshal. Medals also come with rewards. Choose between new types of units, upgrades, extra supplies to turn the tide of battle, or cold hard cash. Spend it in the armory to create your own uniquely armed fighting force of fearsome battle droids. Am I understanding that you can actually customize and design your own droids? Because that's kind of neat. Blast stuff to bits with high-tech weaponry. Explode your foes with rocket barrages. Slice them into very small bits with beam lasers. Scramble their innards with disruptors. Fry them with flamethrowers. Battle Droid has a variety of weaponry attached to an even wider range of dru... Uh, I was about to say druids. <laughs> all of these battle droids and, and all of a sudden out of nowhere there's druids. Oh, shit. Or was I? Battle Droid has a wide variety of weaponry attached to an even wider range of droids and turrets, each with different sensors, drive units, armor, and special equipment. Battle Droid uses our own state-of-the-art custom voxel graphics engine, Voxoid. Oh, cool. Allowing us to create spectacular battles with massive, super detailed landscapes, thousands of battling droids, and millions of particles to create explosive effects. I saw this because originally the stop motion animation was just like, oh, this is so this is cool looking. <laughs> I've never seen this type of, of game in that style of animation. It just looks like it. It's just when things are up close and you just see how, how they move, it's not really smooth. But I guess you really can't have all of those extra frames of animation for each and every single droid because you just, most PCs wouldn't be able to handle that. Yeah, because here's what it says. Massive battles with up to 1,000 units on each side. Asynchronous online multiplayer. You can play even if your friends are offline. Um, yeah, we talked about voxels. Editable environment and weather system with realistic fog, mist, and volumetric lighting. Tiny download, quick startup, and free to jump in and start blowing stuff up. What are you waiting for? Yeah. So the system requirements, it just says you have to have a 64-bit processor and an operating system. Like, hold the phone. I need an operating system to play this game? Like, come on, guys. Yeah, this the, whoever um, wrote all this up for the Steam page was... I mean, this this whoever did it, this person is an awesome hype man. <laughs> but yeah, this game is free to play. Cool. Well, that's it for the trailers. Yeah, I'm going to check out the demo and see if I if I would enjoy an auto battler. Because like I said, I haven't played one in a long time. And I don't remember liking them that much. But I'm always open to exploring things that I, I 
didn't like before to see if I like it now. Because as you get older, or as you get more experience with certain things, your tastes can change over time. So it's sometimes worthwhile to go back and see if it has. 